Okay, let's see if I can help you get your Wakira 250R connected to some kind of interface. We'll start out by looking up our FTDI drivers and this is what I was looking for FT232R USB UART driver when I search for that come right down here I go to the site basically makes the chip and I scroll down and for kicks and grins for right now uh, might need the virtual COM port drivers might need these that are the most up-to-date drivers I'll go ahead and download these for kicks and grins this tells you about it scroll down here's your different operating systems so this is the file I want so I want to save that file Let's see if it's still downloading no So we've got that downloaded. Now what I'm going to do now is this is the file I just downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to paste it into my Wakira subdirectory in my uh, download subdirectory here. This is where I have my uh, RAR files I got off Wakira site. I have the Runner 250 camera storage upgrade it will work with a 64 gigabyte card only if you do this camera storage upgrade uh, stick a 64 bit card in there and it ain't going to tell you nothing but no card no card no card you do this upgrade inside this RAR it should work fine and then I have the quick start guide and the firmware upgrade that I downloaded from the walk here side. So the first thing I'm do, I'm gonna go ahead and get those COM drivers ready. I'm gonna right click on that driver, FTI TDI COM drivers installation. We'll extract that. I accept that. Next now uh, this takes just a little while. Oh, how about that? Faster than it was on the notebook. Now I've got my COM drivers installed. I want to see if they work real quick. Sequence and for various things, I don't know why. Electronics is a wonderful field. You have to have this transmitter turned on and the external battery hooked to this platform to do much with it. I've seen lots of things where the external battery picks hawk by 3DR. The external battery should always be there because the plus 5 volts that's produced by USB ports that power, can power these things. Mm has a little ripple in it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It causes lockups, this, that, and the other. So uh, I make it a habit and I'm seeing more and more companies recommending you just go ahead and hook up your external power. As long as your props are off indoors, you're fine. So I've installed the drivers. I've got my transmitter on. I've got my serial port connected to my platform. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my USB port. Installing the device driver software in the lower right. I can get there in time. And we 
go. Universal serial converter. Ready to use. COM port 3. Installing driver software. Restart required. I'm sure there would be on COM 3. But I'm going to be tricky about this. Might get myself in trouble here too. Because I know other things are on COM 3. We'll just look. There's COM3. Used to be zero point COM3. <sighs> you know, I really do want to put that on one that's not in use, so I'm going to go to COM11 right now. And just for kicks and grins, I'm going to raise the baud rate to 115.200 here. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to now ask me if I want to restart my computer to make all of these changes take place. Okay, after the restart, let's see what we have. Start, right click on computer, left click on properties, left click on device manager, left click on the plus, left click on serial port, right click, go to properties. Go to port settings, still at 115.200. And I already could see in the description up here it was still at COM 11. Don't see any errors with that. Oops, while well I'm in there, real quick. Driver FTDI 212.16.0. That's what I think I saw on that update. Now then, we'll go in and install real quick. That was from this, so 2.12.16. Seems to be the correct version from this setup. Multi-Wiki 2.2. We'll go ahead and open that subdirectory up here. Extract those files. We're not going to do the camera, and we'll open up the 1.2 upgrade. First of all, let's go in here. Mm -hmm. We'll just get our multi wiki here. Send a copy of that to the desktop. And then we'll go into the runner firmware upgrade. <laughs> Here's another multi wiki. I'll go to the multi wiki site and get the current version later. Here's the fly control that we use for upgrading firmware. Extract that here. Go into that subdirectory. We're going to go into the driver subdirectory here. I'm running 64 bit, so I'm going to single left click on that and then single right click on it. Run that program as administrator. This is installing drivers for the fly config program that Wakira produces. And we're finished. And click on finish. We'll go backwards the subdirectory. And right here is where people get in trouble. I'm going to double click fly config setup MSI. Can't read this. It's in Chinese. There may be a additional net framework or a fonts that might change this thing to English. I haven't found it. I'm not looking for the minutiae in the corner at this point. I'm trying to get going. So I click next. This seems to be what is killing everybody's fly config from running is 
these Chinese characters in our American computers. So I replaced that with just another subdirectory name in English. I can't tell you what this is. I just click what I believe to be next here. And I suppose that's telling me where it's installing. I click next. This lets my flight config run. That was the final magic bullet that made my flight config run. It's changing. Uh, I'd say this is close. So now then, let's go out of here. Here's my Wakir well, fly config. Both of these I'm going to go into real quick and make sure they're running supervisor. Make sure that's applied to all users. Compatibility, run program as administrator, supervisor, whatever you want to call it. Same old, same old. And then double click, fly config, English. And if I've done everything right, I should at this point get into the program without that little square window of death. Oh, look at that. It does work. At this point, I have not got it to con connect. Oops. I don't have my platform connected. Column 11. At this point, to tell you the truth, uh, It does connect to Mavlink. It, it does seem to be communicating on the platform. And I do allow it network access during this. It's usually where firmware upgrades will be pushed in the future. But this eventually errors out. So I haven't got the complete answer to this. And it may be like on 3DR. I may need to go in and drop this to COM port that's below like 8 or so like theirs. That 3 may have to be there. But I was able to come in here and go in and choose my 250 GPS version 1.2 upgrade and when I click right here it actually performs the upgrade Or it seems to be doing what I would assume, having seen a couple millions of upgrades in life, this seems to be upgrading. Now, I do not know yet why. I can't connect with this walk here fly config. I think it is the current version. Comes from walk here. I think it may be that I need to step back one version on those COM drivers we installed. I have just gotten little tidbits from here and there on the internet. So, now that the uh, firmware has been upgraded, we'll go into 
multi wiki I get bored while I wait <laughs> and I also trust that my computer's doing what I told it instead of starting clicking everywhere there let me start it again click click oh let me go in oh look it finally came up see most people would have clicked 20 times cause got the machine so bogged down trying to do other things they never get anywhere yeah, COM 11, that all seems great to me. We'll let the default folders go. Start logic connect. No, not at this time. Next, thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, thank you. COM 11, 115, 200. Click connect. I see activity on the platform. And I see, well, while I was making this screen full screen, I see uh, data now. Let's go to real-time data. And I'll just grab the platform and move it around a bit. <sighs> Whoops. There you go. I think that pretty much proves it's connected. And sending data. Real time, even and so, I've got multi wiki running. And again, I will at this point go back and try to figure out why this doesn't want to connect. Uh, but other than that, I've at least got. It connected to MultiWiki, and it seems to be I can do what I need inside there. All right, I hope that helps some somebody else. That is at least the explanation of the Chinese subdirectory causing the problem with fly config not to run. Then once you get the uh, 1.2 firmware upgrade in it, you can connect to it with MultiWiki. If I find out what the problem is with fly config, I'll put up another video. Tell you the truth, if everything I need to do is in multi wiki, I'm not going to screw with fly config. I'll wait for somebody else to figure it out. <laughs> and at some point I get bored on a rainy day, I may mess with fly config. One of the problems is I've already come in here and found that uh, on the COM port, oops, the drivers, roll back one version is grayed out on the tab here, so I'm not going to be able to roll back that way one version. I'm going to have to go and look for. 2.12.16 oops 15.099 or something something prior to this version of the driver software back up one version and see if that fixes fly config but I'm just tickled to have multi wiki running on it I hope that helps you to get it running on it too have a good one